Hey everybody, Scott Kelby here from the Kelby One Online Education Community for Photoshop. And we're looking at the brand new, just released, incredibly awesome select subject feature. So take a look at the image that we have right here. And if this image looks familiar to you because it was the actual cover of my Lightroom book, my last Lightroom book. Okay, so if we were going to make a selection of this, of course, what we're worried about is all this stuff here, all right, all this edge detail. And before we even got to the hard stuff, we had to make an easy selection. We had to go and get either the magic wand tool and try to select maybe the chair rail background and do all that stuff first. Here, let's click all these areas. You'd either do that or you'd go and get the quick select tool and you would select as much of this as you can. But you don't want to get all the way to the edges, right? Because that's what you want to use the select and mask for. So now, this is amazing. Adobe's using machine learning to be able to let you do this. It'll do it for you. It'll go, oh, there's a subject, there's a person, and it'll select it for you. Here's how it works. You can go right here, you can click on like one of the selection tools, or if you actually are on the quick select tool, you have this little button called select subject. Just click it, and it does its machine learning thing. Give it a second, and that's it. There it is, boom. It selected it. Now, if you want to go right into Select and Mask, you can see it didn't get all the edges, but it did all that work that you normally would do by yourself, like all the manual stuff. So now you just grab like the second tool here and Select and Mask, and you can go into these areas and just get rid of that little edge fringe with the brush. You just paint over that edge and it masks it beautifully, I might add. And there's a little bit like missing there. And still doing some thinking up there. And right in here, you see what's this? The brush gets right inside all that fur. And look at that. You can build a beautiful mask in no time. Look how, look how little, what little it took to do that. It's pretty amazing. And uh, also, hey, while we're here, if you want, if you have a decontamination problem, you can turn on the decontamination colors checkbox, which you always could do. But now there's a slider for the amount, which is greatly, greatly needed. Um, it was in the old refine edge and they brought it here to select and mask so it's there by default it's going to be all the way on just like it was in previous versions but now you can lower the amount anyway let's copy this to a new layer and you can see you can make a mask look at that you can make a mask in no time adobe cut out the time that it takes to make masks in a massive massive way here i'll, I'll go grab a couple other shots so you can see not that one this one right hit uh select subject Oh, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I wanna, well, I was going to let you see it in Selected Mask. It's easier to see. There you go. It, it, it did a pretty amazing job of doing. Remember, not every bit of it for you because you still got to do just a couple of clicks in here and stuff to get this inside his face mask and stuff. But I think that's pretty amazing. Here, let's, let's do another one and, and this will be better. Hey, there's me standing in our offices holding a shirt <laughs> my, my buddy Robbie Pisco sent me. So uh, let's just go to Selected Mask. And then click select subject and see if it selects me and the shirt that I'm holding. And yes, it does. It's really, really slick. And so I thought that you would find this incredibly, incredibly here. Go to select and mask and hit select subject. And, and I've tried this on a bunch of images. It works amazingly well. It's not one of those things that's just, well, it works on some photos. <laughs> as long as it's not, you know, just someone in the dark you know, on a dark background, it actually works really well. And then you can take, you know, the second brush here, go in and do your little bit of masking and just mask in the extra hair and whatever else that you need to do here. But it does the, the heavy lifting for you. So thank you, Adobe. I love this, this rocks. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it and uh, hats off to those engineers and the wizards at Adobe uh, for using machine learning to make uh, our selections that much better.